Welcome to the Wilderness Medical Staffing Time and Expense Portal, your one-stop platform for all timesheet and expense submissions. In this short tutorial, I will go through the basics and equip you for a successful time and expense entry every time. We will cover first how to view and confirm the rate structure of your assignment, how to enter expenses and attach receipts, how to complete a timesheet and submit it. How to complete and e-sign any onboarding documents that we send you. I will teach you how to run reports on past timesheets and or expenses. And finally, I'll give you some helpful tips on some additional resources. Now we begin at login. The link to this page, as well as login information, can be found in the automated email you received from Bullhorn. Your username will be your email, and a password will be automatically provided to you. Now let's click Login. When you first log in, you'll be directed to this page. This very simple page contains everything you'll need. On the top ribbon, you'll see your name, and then to the right of that, you'll see your active assignment with all of the rate types. If your assignment includes multiple rates, you can click the drop down arrow to view them all. In this example, my assignment has three separate rate types. First is direct care, then I have overtime and hourly on call. To the right of that, we have first the helpful hints icon. This will take you to Bullhorn's help section. Then we have change password. This will help you change your password. I suggest you do change it after your automated one. And then finally, this one will help you log out. All right, now we'll do expenses. But before we can start entering expenses, let's create a timesheet so Bullhorn knows which date range we're submitting expenses for. In this example, I worked from January 30th to January 31st. So I will select that entire date range and create a blank timesheet. Now we'll come back to this, but we'll enter our expenses first. We needed the timesheet so that Bullhorn knows which dates to connect the expenses to and which client to charge them to. Now, first, let's add an expense. Enter the date you incurred the expense. Enter a quick description. Let's see, I Ubered to the airport. And then enter the exact amount of the expense. And then we will click Save. Now that we have an expense, we need to prove it with a receipt. So we'll need to upload one. Click Choose File and select the receipt. Then click Upload. Finally, you must link the receipt to the expense itself. You will do this by clicking on the little paperclip icon and then clicking the box that corresponds with the expense you'd like to link the receipt to. Click Save. Here, we'll do one more. This time, let's say it was a uh, excess baggage fee. Those happen a lot on Alaska seaplanes and they'll run you about $75. Again, we hit Save. Now that we have it, we'll need to select a receipt. Hit Upload. And again, we will click on the little paper clip, make sure that it's connected to the correct expense, and hit Save. Now you'll see here that once you have a linked expense, the paper clip icon will turn gold. Once all of your paper clip icons are gold, you know that everything's done and ready to go. And at the top corner, you can see your total expenses connected to the one timesheet. Now that we've entered all of our expenses, we can return to the timesheet. So you can see our expenses are still included in the upper right corner. The next step is to go through each day you worked and enter your time. So we'll scroll down to the first day that I worked. Now keep in mind, it's very important to remember that you're filling out a timesheet for the rate that you see at the top of the page. In this case, it's direct care. 
So I'll be entering only the first eight hours of every day. There's eight hours. I'll click down to the next one. Now for Friday. Now we can go down and see I have eight hours entered for both of the days that I worked, regular time, totaling 16 hours. All of my expenses are attached to this timesheet and I can submit it. Now we'll accept this on pain of perjury. And you are submitted. With direct care hours submitted, now we can start on a timesheet for overtime. As you can see, you'll have to select the correct date range again and create a blank timesheet. Now, let's say the clinic was slammed on Friday and I ended up working 11 hours total. In that case, I will select Friday, which as we can see already has eight hours, and I will add three more hours to bring my total to 11. I can scroll back down and see that the total now is 11, three hours at my overtime rate and eight at my daily rate. I can enter submit. Accept again. And then let's say on Thursday, I uh, got called in at 11 o'clock at night and I worked for an hour. We'll enter a new timesheet for hourly on call. Pick the date range again, make a blank timesheet. And I'll select Thursday. Scroll back up, enter one hour. Scroll down, make sure your math is correct. Submit. Now that we've completed our timesheet, let's have a look at the documents tab. Now your documents tab will contain any forms that we've sent you to fill out. For example, your W-9 and direct deposit forms will be here for your reference. Incomplete documents are pending your signature and these are in the columns on the left. Once you complete them, they will move to the right and stay there for your reference. Next, let's have a look at the reports tab. Here, you can run reports on your time history or your expense history. This will come in handy during tax season, or maybe if you can't remember if you did submit that gas receipt you just found in your wallet. You simply choose report, enter the dates, and click run. It'll show up here and be saved. Now that we know how to complete and submit a timesheet, Let's go over some helpful tips. First, you must submit a separate timesheet for each rate type. If you only have a single rate assignment, let's say you earn a flat hourly wage, you can enter all your hours in that one timesheet. Otherwise, you'll need to submit a separate timesheet for each rate. You can consult the rate sheet that you signed for your assignment to know how to break your time out. But if you make a daily wage, you can simply enter one hour for each day you worked. Now, your expenses and your timesheet are linked. For that reason, you must enter all expenses before you submit your timesheet. But if you make any mistakes or leave any expenses out, you can easily unsubmit a timesheet and make the changes you need to make. We have now completed the brief bullhorn tutorial and you should now be familiar with the process of submitting your expenses for reimbursement, completing and submitting a timesheet for multi-rate assignments, viewing and completing any e-sign documents we've sent you, and finally you should be familiar with uh, running reports on your past timesheets and expense submissions. The goal of this training video was to help you feel confident that you're entering your time and expense correctly. We understand that every assignment and situation is unique, and we expect new questions and the challenges that come with working in the most remote locations in America. If you ever face uncertainty about how to complete your time or expenses, please reference this video again, and you can also use the help page in your provider portal. 
With some focus and tenacity, you should be able to find the answers you're looking for. But if you ever still have questions, every team member in Wilderness Medical Staffing will be happy to help. Good luck with your future endeavors, and thank you for working with WMS.